Hello, this is Rob here from robcoven.com and I'm going to show you how to make a multilingual website with WordPress. And it's very easy. You can have as many languages as you want and you can translate as many pages or blog posts as you wish. In order to do this, you need to purchase the WP Multilingual plugin for WordPress. It's not a lot of money, it's only a few dollars and the link is uh, to, to purchase it will be below this video. But once you've purchased it, you need to put it in WordPress installation that you have online. And if you go into your site with an FTP program, you need to go into WP Content there, and then you need to go into Plugins, and you need to put the files that they give you inside a folder called Sitepress Multilingual CMS. And you need to put them in the plugins folder. And then once you've done that and it's uploaded, you go into the plugins section in WordPress and you'll see it pop up here, WPML Multilingual CMS, and obviously you have to activate it, the plugin for it to work. So now the plugin has activated. Um, this will just open another window with some guides and instructions on how to get the plugin to work. I wouldn't worry with that. If you just go into WPML here, or even if you click configure here, it will take you to what's more or less a setup wizard that I find very useful. So, first of all you have to choose the language, your base language, and this will probably be English. Um, it is for me, and I'm speaking English at the moment, so it's likely that it will be for you as well. So, we'll select English for that. You could select another language if you wanted to. Now you have to choose the languages that you will be translating some of the pages in. Now, you don't have to translate all of the pages into these languages. Um, you just have to... You can translate one page into one language if you want, or you can translate all the pages into eight or nine different languages. But here you can actually choose the languages that you want. Okay, well when you've chosen all the languages you think you're going to use, you click Next. And now you have the language switching options, and um, you can do this with a widget actually, so it doesn't really matter, and you can come back to these later as well. Uh, you can come back to any of these steps. What I like to do is include the flag on the language switcher, um, and you can also choose whether you have a native language in there. If you click that off, um, you've just got the language in one language. If you put it back on again, it will have it in the native language as well. Um, so you can have, you can choose which of these options you like. We'll leave it for that now. And now you can see all of the options that you've chosen in the setup, and you can go back and choose and change these any time you want. And as you can see this time, I chose to put the language switcher up here in the header. And uh, I'm not too sure if I want it there. I think I'm going to move it to the sidebar. So if I go into the language switcher options, this is just here at the, um, the, the very basic WPML options. I'm going to change it to the primary sidebar. And I, can, I think you can go apply on any of these applies here. Let's just do it in that one for now. And refresh the page and you'll see the language switcher has moved over here. Now you click on the language switcher, it doesn't do anything. Well, we've only got English there, we haven't put in any of the other languages, so that's all well and good. So let's go back and put in a language. So I'm going to do the home page now. Immediately you notice that the, uh, the pages look a bit different. You've got all these flags here, and very obviously, if you want to say we want to do a translation for this page, which happens to be the home page, and we want to do Chinese, all we have to do is click on this plus here, underneath the Chinese flag. Uh, you'll get to used to these flags, but if you hover over them, a tooltip will come up telling you which language it, it denotes. So this is Chinese, uh, simplified Chinese, you have traditional Chinese as well. So we'll click plus here. If you wait a second, 
I'm going to just grab a translation of that page. OK, I've just had that page translated into simplified Chinese. I'm just going to paste in the title and paste in the body of the text. Let's just do that in visual mode because then I'll get the paragraphs correct. Hopefully. No. Probably not. Not to worry. Now, of course, when you're doing this, you can put in photos and you can put in links, um, same as the other page. Obviously, you can put in a meta description if you wanted. Um, there's all, all sorts of other things you could do, similar to if you were making any other uh, WordPress page. But we're just going to do it for this one for the time being. We got the text and we got the title. And we've just clicked publish. So if we go back to the page on the site, which happens to be the home page, and click on the language switcher, there we see the simplified Chinese in the drop down. We can click on that, and there is our title in the simplified Chinese. So, just to recap, all you have to do is in your pages, and if you have a blog, of course, you can do this in the posts. There you see a little um, pencil icon, that means uh, you can edit that if you want to do. Um, and here you, you have all the plus icons, meaning you can click that one if you wanted to, to do add in your French translation. That one, oh no, sorry, that was Dutch. Um, but you get the idea. I don't know the difference between the Dutch and the French flag. Very sorry about that. Um, so there you can put all your translations in. And by the if you finish them all, if you do all of the translations and you, you refresh the page, then the language switcher would show you all of those languages and you can create all of those languages. They all have different URLs and they are picked up by other search engines. It's very good for SEO. It's a perfect way for creating a, a multilingual site. It's very easy. I've done it in a few seconds as you can see. All you have to do is get the translations done and uh, you've got a multilingual site in WordPress. Hope you enjoyed that. This has been Rob from robcoven.com. Goodbye.